All right. So welcome. Today is Tuesday, September 26th. This is another episode of The Sunder in which we will be blundering our way through Heroes of the Storm once again. And uh, all we're... over each other. While we talk about a ton of other crap that has gone on, I'll give some common for the storm updates. Uh, I'll give an update on why Zia is not here tonight. And yeah, let's let's probably get into it. So um, obviously today uh, our show is brought to you by the ads that are on our site. Please don't ad block us. Click through the links, especially on Amazon link. Buy your stuff. It's no cost to you. It helps us out, especially with uh, server and bandwidth costs. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it. I think Hasu has Anna, so maybe we'll see a little bit of that going on. Apparently, yes. I, I have a, to play a StarCraft character, so I'm going to probably do Probius again. Because he's weird. Oh, guard tennis. <clears throat> well, I need... I mean, I want to get... Let's see, Probius is like halfway to six, so... Fair enough. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it if you set it too late. No, just let's do this real quick, and then, like, I only I only need Probius for one match. Just one match. Come on, the updated AI is so fun. Uh, let's see, so Zia. So Zia, this past weekend... Um, so this past weekend... So let's start Friday. So Friday, uh, I did a Come for the Storm... Uh, reveal of World of Podcasts with Bell from Podcast, uh, which is on the Comic Before the Storm Twitch, and then we put it up on the Comic Before the Storm uh, YouTube channel. And it's also the audio from that is on the World of Podcasts iTunes feed. <coughs> so, um, Saturday, uh, Zia went to the hospital because she had appendicitis. Um, so, sometime over the night, and then early morning, she was taken to the hospital. Saturday, she had surgery. Sunday evening, she was released home. So, she is not here tonight. She's probably still resting, recuperating a little bit. She told me that she's walking around like a little old lady. Uh, which, I've always told her she'd make a great old lady. One, because she really doesn't understand technology. It's okay that I say this, because she's not here, and she probably won't listen to this again. But, seriously, she she's terrible with technology. Like, the worst. Oh? I mean, she's a gamer, isn't she? I mean, normally gamers have at least, like, so many knowledge. You would think. She has she has some knowledge, but, like, when it comes to, like... She says she has a future phone because it uses USB-C to charge, but she really doesn't know what that means. Nor do I. <clears throat> so. Um, so, anyway, so we wish her well in in her recovery and and, and hope she re gets back on her feet soon because there's a lot of common for the storm stuff that needs to happen um so world of podcast has been announced all the the moderators the panelists they are uh so they are all announced jesus that's a lot of little onion plushy thing Cravings for onions. <clears throat> Not really. Um, so that was all announced. Comfort Storm. I've been working at the scheduling uh, the meet and greet, and so we did a little preview announcement of, of who's going to be there. So we have a few folks who've already like what I call soft confirmed, uh, which basically means that they have confirmed, but we haven't set a time yet. Let's Fixed see. It. So, <clears throat> what else? Uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna. I want to foff real quick to uh, mortgage companies because I've been doing. Um, I've been trying to refinance my house, which we thought everything was settled, but it wasn't. And then at the last minute, they changed things on me. So it's been a huge pain in the ass. So that's been going on. Um, my son had his fourth birthday party. That was exciting. Cool. 
Is he in uh, preschool? Or? No, he misses the cutoff. So he's actually in what they call pre-K two right now. So he's before pre-K. He'll go to pre-K next year. Um, but uh, we took him to this place that had like a arcade, and he had a blast just playing a whole bunch of arcade games. Which I mean, so I feel pretty good about that. That like I'm raising a gamer. Uh, try to think what else. Um. Oh, uh, Falling Sonata. We got Maiden down on heroic, so that was pretty exciting. Are you liking uh, for seven point three so far? I mean, Arcus is fine, the storyline's fine, but one of the things that I wish um, that they had was that after I finish the um, the storyline with one character, I don't need to do it with my alts. I really don't want to go through unlocking all those things again. Yeah, that's understandable. Because it takes a while, and it's, like, it's just not alt-friendly from that standpoint. Trying to think what else, um, but yeah, so we're, we're, we started working on Fallen Avatar, and... You still playing your Blood Death Knight? Hell yeah, Death Knight for life. How's it scaling so far? I mean, he seems fine. Didn't they mix up the talent trees for Blood Death Knights recently? No. It's all good I thought mode. they changed like Rune Tap or something. If they changed anything, it wasn't noticeable, honestly. Nothing of consequence that made me change my spec or whatnot, so. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, that's about it. Like, so we're playing Here's the Storm. Ana was released. Um... Tracer just stuck me with a bomb. I gotcha. So tell me a little bit about Anna, cause like she seemed interesting, but I didn't really like do much with her. Like I was just like looking over her like abilities and whatnot. And Anna in Heroes of the Storm, by the way. So the Overwatch character is now in Heroes. That's what we're talking about. Um, she, she's, she's a very long range character, I have a pretty long attack range, um, she's encouraged to play very safe, from what I saw. She could put out some serious healing, but, um, only problem with that, it's a base skill shot, which means I can miss and not heal anymore. So, I think hmm. she's definitely got a very high skill cap. Gotcha. She's got a ton of utility though. So, is she just like mainly like long range heals then? Or like. Uh, heals and utility. Um, my Biotic Grenade can actually stop healing for a couple seconds, which is amazing against certain characters. Like Karazim, Old Palm. Uh, come here. <laughs> and you almost. You almost let me die there. I didn't let you die. Yeah, don't let me die, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm just a little probe. That was cute probe. Uh, let's see. Oh, so, I mean, um... Also, one of the things that kind of came out that I don't think we talked about was the BlizzCon uh, bag was released. So, like, the goodie bag that you can get. And honestly... I'm not all that impressed with it. Like, it's like a backpack. I thought the mount looked cool. <laughs> the what? The mount, I think you get with the virtual oh, ticket. Oh, yeah, that's with the virtual ticket, but there's also, like, the goodie bag that you can buy separately. And you don't even need the virtual ticket to get it. Like, it's just a lot of, um... It's just a lot of Overwatch-related stuff, and the backpack is just kind of like... I feel like it's been there, done that type deal. 
So, um, I don't know. I just feel like the for the price, and then they did like an upgrade. Like you can upgrade and get like more stuff, and it's just like more of the same. So it's not even like new stuff. I don't know. Like, I think this is the first year I'm not gonna get the bag. I can understand if people are like diehard Overwatch fans that want it. It makes sense for them. But if you are, we're kind of looking for like some more Warcraft or. Or here's the storm, or even Diablo stuff. Like you're kind of out of luck. <clears throat> so, I'll be honest. I've actually never bought it. I've just never saw anything that caught me interest. So last year's was awesome because they had like the 10th anniversary Stein, which was just amazing. I love having that Stein. You put a whole bunch of beer in it. So. That was cool, but, um, but yeah. Have you ever, like, tried mixing, like, beer and, like, bacon grease? No, that would be, like, total ecstasy for you, wouldn't it? I, no. Sometimes they're good, things are good separate. Like, you don't have to necessarily mix everything. Like, so, here's the thing. People send me lots of bacon stuff, and they're like, oh, bacon soda. I'm like, you know, sometimes you don't need bacon in everything. You just need bacon by itself. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, bacon and jello doesn't sound very good. Bacon and cake doesn't sound very good. Well, hold on. So you could do some candy bacon and mix it in with some cake, and it's pretty good. <sighs> that, that, that I will say. Maybe I should just go down the list and just say yes or no. <laughs> bacon or no bacon. <laughs> that would be a good segment for the show, bacon or no bacon. Pasta. Bacon. Definitely bacon. Uh, that's what I mean, I just missed her twice. Ow. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the other Punisher just completely like lead like all these forts go chasing <laughs> the enemies. Yeah. That's that's a bit ridiculous. There he goes again. I know. <laughs> do you do you ever watch Carbat Carbot animations? Um, I have on occasion. I can't say that I, I do it often. There's uh, this one about the Punisher. Uh, it comes out all of a sudden, and the music goes, and his name is John Cena! But his this name is awesome Punisher. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. You gonna let me die? Stop moving, stop moving! Too many people taking damage. I'm gonna get out of here. I've done a whole lot of siege damage with Probius. I guess that's his thing though, right? Mostly. <clears throat> it can blow up people too, pretty well. Uh, my hero damage is at 19,000, so I'm second on the hero damage. You're beating me, you take a damn. Um, I'm trying to think, really, what else has really been happening? I mean, uh, um, game-wise, BlizzCon-wise, work. Like, I'm just trying to think of like, oh, so <clears throat> speculation on like BlizzCon stuff is well, obviously, Warcraft. We're gonna get new expansion. I mean, that just seems like a given at this the point. The Dark Blue. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um, here's the Storm characters. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we're gonna get two or three again. Like, so, the running theory is... Dragon flights. 
from Warcraft. Yeah, I think Alex Straz will be the first dragon. Probably. Then so. Support. Yeah. Deathwing. I mean, obviously he's the most popular choice, but you know, they don't always go with the most popular. I mean, Anna came out of nowhere. And Anna did know, come out of nowhere. Overwatch, but there seem to be a lot more popular characters than her. I I am actually surprised that Anna was even announced. Like I I literally I would have thought like Reinhardt would have been saw him before even a mercy potentially who's that hacker chick sombra she seems really popular too i think reinhardt would probably be pretty easy to implement A lot of tanks have certain niches in this game. His would obviously be against a uh, ranged jam. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think that is really. Like. Diablo? Are we going to get a Diablo 4 or like another no. Diablo 3 expansion? Uh, it's going to be quiet. We might we might get like a uh, Warcraft 3 remaster announcement, but I doubt it. That's a circuit been like not that long. It's a Starcraft one. I'd love a Warcraft 2 remaster myself. I would like to see a Warcraft 3 remaster. But I would like all the Warcrafts to be remastered, to be perfectly honest. Though, I, I will say, I'm still a little salty over the original StarCraft. Like, I own StarCraft and Brood War, and... Like, they... Like, were not giving discounts. At all. Do you ever play the Stick of Truth? I, you know what? So, yes, but I never really got too far into it. Oh, yeah, this is a common theme. You need an intervention. Hey, look, I got to play the game. Look at that. Nice. Boom. The fractured butthole is coming up next month. Is that finally coming? It's been delayed so many times. Yes, but I'm happy it was delayed. I'd rather have them take their time on it, because I think it could be amazing. Like the first one. Oh, I got the Pachimari portrait unlocked. Thank you so much. I don't know where I would be without that portrait. You saw my portrait? Oh, it looks angry. It's Grom. Oh, now it's fine. Five golden Pachimaris. And I get a little box. Get a little box. I'm gonna collect them all and put them in my little box. All right. So StarCraft. Do you think there's gonna they're gonna announce anything about StarCraft, or are they just gonna kind of let that um, lie? You know, honestly, behind WarCraft, StarCraft's their biggest franchise. I you know no, it's not. Overwatch is probably their biggest franchise. That and Hearthstone, like Hearthstone and Overwatch, are the I don't know, man. World of Warcraft's made so much money for them. It so has, but money. it's not their cash cow anymore. Hearthstone no, is. No, but... Really? Yeah, Hearthstone That's is what's bringing in all the money. Let's be honest. Any of their franchises are money makers. I mean, there's not a bad franchise they've made. I just realized that I'm close to level 9 with Jaina. Hmm. Probius, what... It says Probius was, is difficulty hard, but I found him kind of easy there. 
Um, he's pretty squishy. I mean, positioning is pretty important for him. That's probably why he's classified as hard. Uh, uh, plus, you know, his abilities require combos as well. You know, someone like, you know, like um, some more straightforward. Um, maybe with are pretty simple. Tychus, you know, don't require comboing their abilities. So apparently I need to win one more game. Let's go against Elite this time. How about we do how about we do one of those unranked things where unranked what is it? Unranked where we pick draft teams? Sure, you can do that. Let's do that. That that's always fun and, Depending. and, and we and we and we don't have to worry about like Zia complaining like how she's like she's rattled. She's always rattled. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. Hey, you know, it's a little slatter anxiety. I had a little bit when I first started this game. You know, a thousand games later, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> oh, here we go. You sound like you're getting over it, too. Battlefield of Eternity. Battlefield of Eternity. Here we go. Your team bans first. Who's banning for us? I, I wonder. Is it you again? Yeah, I, I you. wonder. <laughs> We got someone on our team named Battle Pants. That bothers me. You know, he's battle on these pants. Hmm. Who are you going to ban on Battlefield of Eternity? Oh, man. Alright, red team is... We ban Malthiol. Who is the red team banning? The red team is banning Genji. Uh, Genji. Really? They're gonna have some squishies. Yep. They're afraid of the dash. Alright, well, we got Ana, it appears. Let me just spell caster them. Let's see. Red's picking two. Who are they picking? Auto attackers are good in this map. Zahaka, Li Ming. Alright, auto attackers. Who's the... Should I go tank here then? Uh, well, we're picking. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, you can go tank if you want. Is Lich King good on this one? Uh, Arthas. He can't be. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go him then. Who are you picking? Lunara. I should have won a mage, honestly, but whatever. Um, one of uh, Ana's ultimates is called Nano Boost. It's pretty similar to what it does in Overwatch. Oh, yeah, it I saw that. Uh, increases all that yeah. stuff, yeah. Combos really well with mage characters like Jaina, Kale, Fossil, Ming. Any, any ability based hero. Oh, Butcher is banned. Let's see, who are you gonna ban? So, if we ban Malthiel, does that mean we can't pick him either? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, they right now have a Dahaka and a Li Ming, and you ban Taronda. Shit. See, I just banned someone. One of our team wanted to pick. <sighs> All right, so you—they got Kel'Thuzad and Uther. Yeah, we, we probably should have waited to pick the tank because <laughs> they're—they're gonna melt you. They're gonna what me? They're gonna melt you. What the hell does that mean? Um, Ar Ar Arthas is a physical, um, physical damage tank. Like, he does best against, like, melee or range attackers. Um, spell damage, not so good. Alright, so we got Greymane and a Karazim. So our team is Ana, Arthas, Lunara, Greymane, and Karazim, and they got Dahaka, Li Ming, Kalthazad, Uther, and 
The. Zarya. Oh, it's gonna be nice for me. Yeah, look. Tights is upset about the, your Toronto band there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see his Toronto pick. I should have paid attention to that. You are a terrible human being. Bam. Oh, we got two uh, supports too. I just noticed that. Yeah, the well, Battle Pants wasn't convinced that Anna could uh, handle solo support. Fallen, what good is she? She does feel kind of awkward to me, actually. She's, I think she's going to have a very high skill cap. So, alright. So, Overwatch. What kind of characters do you think they're going to announce for that? Or are they just going to announce new maps? Uh, the hard room is a robot character or something, right? I mean, well, they got like Arissa, they got Bastion. Do they what really they do? need? Do they do they really need another one? Oh. Yep, the Primchari. Oh. Lunara yeah, solo lane. It. Yeah, I can do that. The battle begins in ten seconds. Oh my goodness. Woo. Five. Two. One. So fast. Um alright, I guess I'm going bottom. Yes. I'll take top. Sight the hog is tough. Shit, too tough. I feel like I took a ton of damage there in that fight. Left two of them, yay! What was that? I said two of them were tied up the whole time. That's the Dahaka. So much for the Dahaka right there. They really don't have much auto attack damage. We should destroy them in this race. Oh. 
Oh, I'm the only one here. That wasn't good. I realized that everyone left. I was like standing alone there in the middle. Jesus, their Dahaka like was dragging me around. I must rest, heroes. Yeah, give me a little scary. Alright, I need to get out of here and get some mana. That is for sure. How am I doing? Well, taking 16,000 damage so far. Alright, I'm guessing I should probably go back top. Yeah, I'll go bot. You got Kerazim down there. Yeah, I know. There's two down here, though. I could use some help. Shield of Zarya's. I gotta keep remembering to turn off my Frozen Tempest thing. Um. Time for a tactical retreat. Dodging skills. I got something. Yep. All right, time to get our mortals. Shoot them there. I mean, I, like, mostly for mana. Oh, shit. Ah! They got me. Their Dahaka dragged me. Back in the fight. Back in the fight. Here we go. You know what I was like... You know what I was reading about? is like the, the big costume right now is like sexy Pennywise. Like, why is that a thing? <laughs> Did, uh, did, you, did you see that movie? No! I'm not going Dude, to! Because so good. Fucking clowns. Send in the clowns! Dude, it's, it's creepy as fuck. I mean, 
Uh, that no. actually gave me a legitimate that, nightmare. That is legitimately not anything that I am interested in. <laughs> yeah, none of that is happening. I'm not watching anything that has to deal with clowns. It's just... Fuck all that noise. Let's see. I'm gonna go Army of the Dead. Get so much value. Uh oh. Alright, I need to get out of here. Oh. Never mind, I just got big healed, so. Alright. So much value. All right, now I'm gonna go back. To get this fort before we leave. Nice. Double time. All right. So. Uh... Hey, let's check the bridger camp. All right. See that yellow circle? Oh, that was one of the honest abilities, never mind. Yeah. She can drop a, a grenade from anywhere on the map if she takes a certain talent. Oh, really? Let's go help our bodies up north. Squishy. A little bit. I just do a shit ton of damage. Ouch again. Actually, I've got to be a pain in the ass for her to heal. Because I'm always fucking moving. <laughs> she just missed me again. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what do I want? Uh, Frozen Tempest. You going for an E build? Uh. uh I. Th I don't know. I'm just building things. Oh, I shit! I like walked into that. All right. So chase them off. Yep. Double healers working out for us. Double nice. Too far in there? Yeah, a little bit. We're going way too ham. Alright. Oh. Shit, that's why we did. Oh, never mind. Well, I'm going to go up and help our. I said, sorry, trying to chase me. 
That's funny. Since you all are down there, I'm just gonna help the immortal clear out up top. Oh, here we go. Now the Dahak has decided to join. Good job. Victory. Yay. Yay. Look at you, MVP, Mr. Hosser. That was fun. That was. That was good stuff right there. I gave you the points, cause. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, just speaking of new games, um, do you think they are gonna we are gonna go back to Azeroth in the next expansion? Yeah, they probably will. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious if they're going to announce um their uh, any of the other secret projects that they got working on, like their mobile games that they got going on, the new IPs that they're working on, cause they definitely are working on those things. Do you think they'll ever release an MMO in the StarCraft universe? Uh, uh, no, I don't think they will. Really? Don't, don't you think it has a lot of potential? Like, a ton? It does, but another MMO would compete directly with Warcraft. They're not going to have... They're not... They're, they're, you clearly see what they're trying to do. They're trying to create games that are not competing with... Yeah, they're, they're, covering, they're covering all the spaces. So, Warcraft has their MMO. Starcraft um, recovers their... Uh, you know, their... Their strategy building, base building type game. You got here's a storm which covers the MOBA space. You got Overwatch that covers the first person shooter space. Uh, you got Hearthstone that covers the card game space. So now the question is, what's left? Like oh, and Diablo from the you know the action adventure isometric type game. I mean, they could go with a shooter, I guess. That could be interesting. Maybe, but they have they have Overwatch already. I mean, like a single, well, single player epic shooter. Problem. Um, the only problem with single player type games like that is there's no long term revenue in it. It's like a one well, and done. But so, here's the thing, like, you know, I think eventually they might bring out a Starcraft MMO, but you know, we're probably talking like twenty years into like World of Warcraft's life, which by that time, I imagine. Expansions be coming out far and few between, or you know, if the game is still well and truly alive, I think they'd risk bringing in another MMO. I don't know. I th I think if if Warcraft ever like, if anything, they might swap Warcraft and Starcraft at what some point, like you said, but they would never have two MMOs at the same time. Just do not see that happening. Do you think Warcraft and Starcraft are actually set in the same universe? It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe. They talk about like the, the shadow and the void in, in Warcraft recently, and of course we have that in Starcraft, so I mean it's a it's a strong possibility. I wouldn't 
I wouldn't uh, discount it. Do you think there could be an interaction? I don't know. I don't know. That could be the crossover. <laughs> All right. So let I want to end uh, the show, and I want to play one more game with you. So to to put up on on the site. So let's. Uh, so Hasu, where can people find you? Uh, Twitter uh, at mr underscore hasu. You find me on Twitter at Surface uh, Zia. You can find uh, on Twitter at ITSXIA and the show. You can find all of our shows and content and social media on thesundering.net. And that is it for this week's show. <laughs>